We have a Pasuk of verse in this week's Torah portion. Kisavo. This verse is so beautiful, so reassuring, and it is precisely what we need to hear at this moment in our lives. The Torah says, V'hoya im shamoa tishma b'kol Hashem alakecha. And it shall be, Hashem says, that if we listen to the voice of God, Lishmar Lasos is called Mitzvosav, in order to guard and to protect and to observe all of his commandments, then there are all of these blessings that will come upon us. And the Torah enumerates the multitude of blessings that will come for us, our family, our nation, our people, the world. And the Torah says, Uvo alecha kol habrachas and all of these blessings will come upon you. Vihisigucha. Now that word vihisigucha is a little hard to understand. Vihisigucha means, and they will reach you. But the implication of the word vihisigucha is, for example, if I am running after a person or I'm running after something, you could say about me if I'm successful, I reached the one I was running after. That's what vihisi gucha means. But it's hard to understand the meaning of that word in this context. If God is saying the blessings are going to come to us, why do they need to run after us? Why do they need to chase us? The verse would make just as much sense if you just leave out that word. Uvo lecha kol ha'ela. All of these blessings will come upon you. What is added by this word, this strange word in this context, vihisi gucha, and they will reach you. They will catch up with you. So I'd like to share with you an answer that comes from Degel Machane Ephraim, who was the grandson of the Baal Shem Tov. And he gives an answer that is based on an analyzing another verse, another Pasuk, a very famous verse, a Pasuk that we have discussed before in Tehillim, in one of the most famous passages, paragraph 23, Psalm 23. And Tehillim says, Ach tov v'chesed, Yirdefuni kol Now the normal translation we give to that verse is Ach tov yirdefuni. Only goodness and kindness shall follow me all of the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A beautiful verse, a famous verse. The only problem is that's not exactly what it says. Ach Tov v'chesed, goodness and kindness, yir defuni. The word yir defuni comes from the word rodef. Rodef means a person who is running after another with excitement, with enthusiasm, even with violence. A rodef in the Torah terminology and in halachic terminology is one person who is pursuing another as if to do them harm. So how in the world could we mean that goodness and kindness are going to pursue us as one who is pursuing, God forbid, an enemy? How does it make sense? So the Dega Machan Ephraim says as follows. We say to God, we want goodness and kindness. The problem is, we say to God, sometimes we don't recognize what is good and we don't recognize what is kind. Sometimes there is something that is good, but we don't see it and we run away. Something there is, sometimes there is something that would be kind, but we don't recognize it as kind and we run away. And therefore we say to God, Ach, God, if I run away from what is good, I need you to run after me. I need you to pursue me because I might not be able to recognize goodness and kindness. I need you to run after me. 
The Degel Machen Ephraim explains that that is the understanding of our Pasuk as well. We ask God to bestow upon us blessings. And God says, if we are deserving, that all the blessings will come upon us. Uvo alecha kolabrachos. All the blessings will come to us. The problem is sometimes when there is a blessing that is available to us, we don't recognize it. We don't see the opportunity that is in front of us and we run away from it. And therefore we say to God, it's not enough, God, for you to say, or rather God is saying to us, not only am I going to bring blessing to you, but even if you run away, the blessing is going to chase you and catch up with you in the event that you don't immediately understand or recognize the blessing that is there. The truth is that even now, with all that we're going through, there are blessings that are chasing us even as we are running away. The blessing that we are being given now in this strange time of having the opportunity to reevaluate our priorities in life, the opportunity to take the blessing of learning how to be flexible in life, not just to follow a routine because we've been doing it all this time, but to pivot and to be able to shift to adapt to the needs that are in in front of us. That's a tremendous blessing to have that skill. But we may run away from it because we may be afraid of it. We may be unused to it. Spending time with ourselves. It sounds so strange, but getting to know ourselves in a way that just is not possible when we're working and running and with others and and involved and doing. But we have a blessing that is available to us. We have a tremendous blessing that is available to us to appreciate the gifts that we have in our life that so often we take for granted and overlook. The gift of life. If we're in good health, the gift of good health, And, you know, we spend so much of our time being dissatisfied and worrying about things that are so minor in the scheme of life. But to have the opportunity, the blessing, to focus on what is really important, what really we should focus on, sometimes the small things in life. Something good happens. There's a beautiful day. Something went well. To be able to focus on that and appreciate it, that's a blessing. And so often we run away from that. So often we're looking for something to complain about. We're looking for what's wrong. But we have the opportunity for that blessing now. We have the opportunity to have the blessing of being satisfied with little things in life. We try to run away. But we ask God, please, If we run away from what is really a blessing, chase us, run after us. Even if we don't realize the blessings that are available to us, God says to us, I will chase you and I will catch up with you. The blessings will reach you even if you do not realize it. At this time of the year, we need these blessings so much. We need this Pasuk, this verse in the Torah, to come true for us and our people and the world. And we say to God, even if we do not realize it, let the blessings come. Run after us. Pursue us, even if we do not realize it. My friends, I want to wish you all a wonderful, beautiful Shabbos. Enjoy this Shabbos. Appreciate this Shabbos. And I hope to see all of you soon in person.